What's going on, YouTube? Brian here, joined by Franco, Beckett Bear, and Brady Bear. Now, Brady Bear is holding up my ViewSonic G tablet. So you know there's going to be a review about something. I mean, a couple days ago, I thought the ViewSonic G tablet was where it's at. I mean, you can get one for $220. You can put honeycomb, ginger, uh, fucking foyo. You could probably put on your mama, but I'll tell you one thing. The ViewSonic G tablet's got a terrible screen, and I didn't realize how bad the screen was. I know it had, you know, 1024 by 600 resolution, a standard netbook screen, but I was not prepared for how bad the angles really were, especially in portrait mode. Check this out. I mean, you can't, if you go more than five degrees off center and you can't read the text and it's it's hard it's really hard to read and I didn't know how really bad it was until I put it next to the HP touchpad BAM 9.7 inch IPS screen 1024 by 768 that is a sexy, sexy screen. TFT, IPS, capacitive. You get that multi-touch. Now, a lot of you guys know, and if you don't know, you're a bunch of goobers. HP is done with hardware as far as PCs, phones. Oh, man, it's sad because they were... Uh, the country's largest manufacturer of PCs and they put out a good product they put out a good product um, unfortunately there's not a lot of profits to be made in the PC world it's too competitive and then they're gonna they're gonna uh, focus more on enterprise servers you know support shit like that but this thing here is a winner 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 chicken dinner look at this thing and a lot of people online talk about, oh, it's bulky, it's big, it's heavy. No, it's not. The G-Tab, I swear to you, is heavier than the touchpad. I, I, I swear to you. It says it's not. It says that this is 1.5. This is 1.6. I don't fucking think so. It might be because it's 4x3. It's a 4x3 aspect ratio, but I don't know. I don't know if that would be the reason why. This feels top heavy when you're using it in portrait mode, obviously, because it's 16.9. Here, this thing is just feels nice in the hand. Uh, it, it's really sturdy. The build quality is unbelievable. I mean, the ViewSonic, I mean, can creak sometimes. I don't know if some of you guys noticed it, but it creaks a little bit. Um, it has a little give in the back. But not not this thing. Well, the you know what? The first thing I did when I got this, and I was told to do it, every site recommended upgrading it to the latest uh, WebOS, which right now I'm rolling with WebOS 3.0.2. And if you're going to do any tweaking, you want to be on the latest and greatest because this HP touchpad not only... It has a, some amazing hardware, but it's got a homebrew community. It's got, just like Android, it's got a bunch of developers out there making applications, making custom kernels, tweaking the uh, WebOS operating system. And I'll show you, this is what I got right here as far as, I love that. That's real multitasking. I love this, the gesture to swipe. and I mean, it's real multitasking. The first thing you guys want to do after you update this, and some people last night were having some problems updating to WebOS 3.0.2 because of the servers. There's got to be a couple hundred thousand people, folks, out there trying to download the same update. So what I recommend doing is going and getting the, uh, the WebOS doctor. The WebOS doctor. You get that from going over here. Let's go over to the touchpad here. You go to the um, support page. For Palm. So basically go to hpwebos.com and um, 
search for a webOS doctor. You're going to have to log into your touchpad profile to go ahead and get that webOS doctor. But what that's going to do, look at, oh man, I don't know how I survived. Those viewing angles are freaking terrible. Not like this, though. Oh, man, that's sexy. I, I gotta re I gotta just tell you, this is the same screen as the iPad. Same resolution, same size. It's, I mean, honestly, it just, it just blows the G-Tab G out of the water. It's, it's sad, too, because this thing here, $149 with the 32 gig of storage, the 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon, uh, the 50 gigabyte of cloud storage they give you, 50 gigabytes through box, the application box, get it out of the uh, HP app catalog, 50 freaking gigabytes, and you can use it on your Android tablet, just for buying one of these, you get 50 gigabytes of cloud storage, so even at the fire sale price of $149. So the first thing you want to do, let's get back to this. Go ahead, go to the support page, download the doctor, install it. Doctor's going to come up. Here's my uh, compact. I got this thing back in like 2006. It's a uh, AMD Toron 64. Pretty good. Pretty decent. So you're just going to double click on the web doctor when you install it. And it's going to ask you to uh, connect the... Uh, tablet touchpad and yada 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 it's gonna flash that web os 3.0.2 and then that's when shit starts getting fun because then you go ahead and you install preware go ahead and download it on your pc first of course you go ahead and open that up and this shit right here that's when you're gonna get um preware so you go get web os quick install and then you search for preware, you install it on here, and I'll show you what that means. Preware is this little guy right there, the little penguin. It's gonna search the homebrew community for all the patches, all the kernels, applications, packages out there. So look at available packages. Go ahead and click on available packages. And what you're going to want to do is look for patches. These patches right here. And go ahead and click all. And you're going to select all these patches that are for the um, WebOS 3.02. You may be saying, well, Brian, I don't see a lot of packages. You might be some kind of iPad fanboy, right? I don't see all your packages. Well, I'll tell you, I got a package for you. It's about six and a quarter inches. <laughs> your your ma calls it six and a quarter inch killer. Uh, that's because I um I installed a bunch of these packages last night. I mean, check out check out all these packages. Those are just what I have for applications. As far as patches, I mean, those are all my patches I installed last night. I got faster card animations I got hide voicemail button uh, you can look at the list here I'll tell you what that you need to do because HP thought it was a good idea for the developers maybe to have a bunch of this logging in the background muffle system logging you gotta get that patch it's gonna stop all that background logging that bogged down the touchpad you're gonna remove drop packet logging you know Every time it dropped a packet, it would log it. I mean, it logged everything. Unthrottle download manager. The fucking touchpad people ta uh, capped this thing at like 65K. KB, I should say, kilobytes. 65 ki kilobytes. No wonder why when people were doing reviews, it was so slow on the uh, web browser. This web browser is fucking fast. I'm not joking, dude. This web browser is wicked fast. I mean, uh, Google, I'm just going to go to Google, and, uh, and it seems, look at that, it seems wicked fast, um, I don't know what I should search for, how about fanboy, for all you Apple fanboys out there, hey, look at how fast that is, they're lying, anyways, I'll tell you one thing, with this, I'm balling, 